The times on the clock will show certain familiar numbers that point to numerology, the gematria. It's 814, which can be added up to 13 or 4. The motor is over, and the smoke coming from the engine creates a cloud of smoke set against the imagery of the Manhattan, New York-style skyline. Detroit's fall, New York's fall, Americans fall, as the pale horse races forth. Devil's horns, triple five, and pentagram symbolism are all throughout. As many of the songs that were put out in the past were indeed songs with the lyrics that foreshadowed these perilous times. We saw them in advertisements, we've seen numerological codes and symbols in television shows and movies. We know different things today than we did back then and we're constantly updating our symbolism lexicon so we can look back at something old and see something quote unquote new and even foreshadowing the current things that the NWO plan to do.
Dennis Haysbert, Allstate spokesperson and the first black president as depicted on Fox TV's 24 series that ran from 2001 to 2007, and Harry Lennox, star of The Blacklist and military leader of Zion in the Matrix films, both did their part in the great work by preparing us for the O. But nobody, and I mean nobody, foreshadowed OBZ like Morgan Freeman, who played God, portrayed the first black president that guides the nation to a global crisis, namely an asteroid. But that's lightweight jamming, because we're going all the way back to lean on me. More big old foreshadowing when Freeman plays the House Speaker in Olympus Has Fallen, a movie about the symbolic overthrow of the U.S. by the oligarchs and the president being attacked. See the release date, 322. In The Dark Knight, Morgan plays Lucius Fox, which is a blatant allusion to the Antichrist that is the leader of the free world. The big old show is about to begin. Hey, I told you not to mess with me. Hey, I shot you now. towards winter in America. There are a lot of distractions. Pay attention to the big picture, to the big old show that is to come. Pay attention to the things that were prophesied by the prophets and that the Lord warned us about. The things that are signs of our last chance at salvation by way of his correction before we have to endure the destruction of the judgment of this land. I know exactly what you're worried about, Lindsay. You do. But Mr. Beast, as much as I'm attracted to you, and I am, the truth is, I'm scared. Ow. If I marry you and become your evil queen, won't people despise me? Won't I become a target just like you? And unlike you, if I'm killed, I won't return as Satan. Why am I using the air quotes? I will be saying that. Yeah, um, actually... You will become a target, but there's a weapon here that very few people know about. That's a... Yes. A real, live 
XGL, TL, GL, laser beam, something. All right. See, there's this rumor going around, this prediction of sorts, that before long, someone who shall remain nameless, Jesus, is gonna come down from the sky and vanquish me. Yeah, but I don't think so. Oh, oh, wow. See that crew? Sixers! Top five towers! Timer set. Toss my salad, crow! Shut my balls! That big motherfucker up there has no idea who he's dealing with. I call it my you know who buster. Is it really surprising that the most powerful man in the world should be a figure of controversy? We as a population on this planet have been looking for a savior. savior. We're talking about a being alien whose very existence they are not telling us the truth. challenges our own sense of priority in the universe. Human beings have a horrible track record of Tragedy. following people of great power. Power corrupts, and absolute power, power corrupts absolutely. absolutely. Chaos. Maybe he's just a guy trying to do the right yeah, thing. We know better now, don't we? Devils don't come from hell beneath they us. They brought their warrior. No, they come from the sky. The world has been so caught up with what he can do that no one has asked what he should do. No, 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 no. That's how it starts. The fever, the rage, the feeling of powerlessness that turns good men cruel. There's the symbol, the logo I was telling you guys about. Here's the FEMA.
symbol or the logo. Well, I like to call it the symbol because really that's what it is. Now let's take a look back at the SWAT team logo or symbol. Just, let's just say symbol. Take a look back. We are continuing to follow this breaking news out of Lafayette, Louisiana, where a gunman opened fire in a movie theater. You're looking at video now of first responders there on the scene. We're joined by phone now. Laura Zacharias joins us. Laura, we understand you're from North Texas in Lafayette visiting. First question, how are you? I'm good, thank you. All right. Um, you, yes, ma'am? I was going to say, so you weren't in the movie theater where the shooting happened, but you were you're in it, seeing a, a nearby movie, right? No, we were actually in the movie theater. We just had finished purchasing our tickets, and we were in the middle of the new movie, the Pixel movie with the Pac-Man. And we were in the middle of just five or ten minutes into the movie, and the manager comes in, and he all of a sudden he just says, I need everybody to please exit through the exit door. We have a quite small emergency going on right now. And as soon as they open the emergency door, everyone starts yelling, run, run, run. And we were all like looking everywhere to see what was really going on. And we turned to the right and there's this lady standing there with a gunshot to her leg. And, and this other lady yelling at us, get down to the floor, run to your car, save the kids. And it was pretty interesting. Interesting to say the least. I'm scared for you just, just hearing this. Get it. Ooh. Got to 
stay with it. Well, it's been a fantastic trip. 